Hey guys, how's it going? Today we've got another cool horn to unbox. So this is something really cool, uh, come from a friend of mine, another collector. Uh, it is a Leslie, um, and as you saw in the title, it is an ATSF horn. So let's pop this open and check it out. <clears throat> I've actually had this for about a week now, and I have not had time to get into it. So it's been bugging me. Let's pop her open. <clears throat> All right. Let's see, we got power chambers first. So here's one. You can see that ATSF yellow. Really cool. Awesome to have um, an original paint horn like this. Here's another one. Here's a gasket probably put new gaskets on all these here is one of the bells now we've got a 48 so you know what that means this is an rs3k so apparently now i don't know my history like a lot of y'all do uh, i'm more of just a horn guy when it comes to the actual railroad history and what some of these came off of i'm not as good but According to him and some other people, this is the only ATSF uh, RS3K, I guess, in collector's hands. So, uh, that being said, pretty rare, I guess, uh, not having any other ATSF RS3Ks. So, here is the 31. I'll get this box moved out of the way as soon as we get all these parts out. And here is pop this one, 37. Now, these are newer bells, or it's a newer horn really, uh, as the markings on the side of the bells uh, has the newer casting marks. So, not a very old horn. Um, you know, I would suspect like maybe 90s. And I'm gonna check the tag to confirm that. And here's the manifold. Of course, this is a high mount diamond manifold like you get with these kind of horns. And I believe that is everything. Got our hardware. All right. Get this box out of the way. So, here's our parts. Pretty cool paint. So I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and pop this thing together and I'll be right back. All right guys, so we got it together. So this is the ATSF uh, Leslie RS3K. Um, of course, with RS3K, you've got a 31, you have a 37, and a 48. Uh, I do have the 48 reversed, uh, as this is how it was ran. Uh, now, with the RS3K, it's not really my favorite sounding horn. Uh, I much rather prefer a 3L, but uh, really cool horn. I really do like the paint. That's why I bought it, and uh, looking forward to hearing this one. So, anyway, um, it is a Tampa version which is the newer model, and this one is actually a newer Tampa version, uh, having the uh, part numbers on the side of these bells. Uh, that's something they did in the later years. So I'm thinking like late 80s to maybe early 90s for this horn. Um, I don't know that for sure, but uh, that's what I'm thinking. So y'all be looking for this horn, guys. I will have it up on the channel here before too long, and I appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one.